What's happening, guys? Keith here with another edition of the Impact Report. So we are just one day away from the Redemption pay-per-view. You can check out my preview and predictions video by clicking the link above my head. So let's get into things. This past week's Impact drew 373,000 viewers and ranked 113 on Cable's Top 150. Not a huge drop-off from last week's, I believe, 382,000 viewers which uh, isn't a shock that it dropped off because the show is mainly a recap and just a lot of video packages getting you hyped up for the Redemption pay-per-view. Um, so I expect strong numbers to continue after Redemption as well. So we have learned of a departure from the company, and that is Tyrus. He was recently on the Impact Media teleconference call maybe a month or so ago, and he had good things to say about the company, why he came back, etc., and apparently he is gone now due to creative differences. He posted on Instagram saying, 2014 to 2018, I have, been a part, I have been a part of Impact Wrestling, worked with a lot of good people, and for the most part enjoyed my time. Having said, having said that, as I've grown, they, well, um, change is good. And there definitely have been a lot of changes. And today, after much contemplation, it's time for me to move on from Impact. Creatively, we just don't see eye to eye on anything, and I beat EC3, so I'm good. I wish them well in their future endeavors. Hashtag nuff said. So, not a huge loss here. I mean, I understand, you know, he probably wanted to be booked in the main event, and Impact had other plans, so it is what it is, pretty much. So... We have heard reports, and it was on the poster for the next set of tapings in Windsor, Ontario, um, that Katarina Waters, a.k.a. Winter, will be returning to Impact Wrestling for the TV tapings in Windsor, Ontario, in June. Uh, she is a two-time knockout champion and a one-time knockout tag team champion with Angelina Love. So, got somebody coming back to the company. Um, Impact Wrestling has announced that they have renewed their agreement with Spike TV in the UK and that Impact will continue to air every Friday at 11 p.m. Uh, they also announced that Impact will be also available on demand for every week on the Global Wrestling Network app at the same time it airs in the U.S., which is 1 a.m. Friday UK time. So good stuff for the UK fans. Um, I believe they said that the Redemption pay-per-view will be available Wednesday for people in the UK. So we have learned of our next Twitch taping. Um, Impact Wrestling will be partnering with Pro Wrestling Revolver on May 5th in Iowa. Um, the title looks to be Penta Does Iowa. Uh, there's a few matches announced for the show. Uh, so far, it was Taya Valkyrie versus Jessica Havoc. Tommy Dreamer versus Jake Manning in a House of Hardcore match, I believe, and Pentagon Jr. versus Jimmy Jacobs. So, another promotion we're working with, and another show that should be good. Uh, so, Scott Demore was recently interviewed by Sports Illustrated's Justin Barrasso. Um, he talked about the Alberto El Patron departure, his reasons for coming back to Impact Wrestling, uh, building relationships with other promotions, building trust with the fans learning from past mistakes, and their plan for the future. Um, ImpactWrestling.com has this article, on, or a link to the article on their website. Um, it's a pretty long read, but it, it was it was good. Definitely worth checking out. Um, you know, I've, just more positive things for the company. And last but not least, we have the Scott Steiner teleconference. Um, this, was, this was interesting. Um... He obviously was Scott Steiner for the entire thing, so he would just, you know, basically scream out random obscenities and, you know, saying, I'm world famous, bitch. But, uh, I mean, amongst those controversial uh, things that he said, he, he did have some positive things to say. He uh, praised Eli Drake, saying that he really didn't know much about him until he was contacted by Impact Wrestling. Uh, he thinks he's one of the best guys on the mic and one of the top guys in professional wrestling today. He talks about the time he worked with Petey Williams, saying that he was probably the best when he was little Papa Pump. But uh, he says that he's got a good chance against Matt Seidel at Redemption. He also praised uh, Brian Cage, because I think he was asked about him using a similar move, that, or the same move that Steiner had used. I think it was in TNA. But... Um, 
Steiner credits his background in amateur wrestling to his longtime success in pro wrestling. He says his proudest moment in his wrestling career is the attendance record that WCW had in North Korea as him being a part of it. And he says it's one re record that Vince McMahon will never break. Um, he talks about scripted promos or overscripted promos ruining wrestling today and that he only feels free when he is wrestling. Um, yeah, he went on to say a bunch of things during that segment. But uh, he finished the call basically saying that him and Eli Drake are going to be tag team champions after redemption. Um, like I said, not much going on outside of the redemption pay-per-view for Impact Wrestling. Um, I know someone had asked Don Callis about if Matt Stryker was going to be joining them for the redemption pay-per-view on commentary, and uh, Don had said no, but we're going to have a great commentary team. So wondering who they're referring to or who he is referring to. Maybe himself and Kelly, Kevin Kelly. You never know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys. So I will see you either tomorrow night or Monday afternoon for my redemption pay-per-view. And until then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.